Hello, fire sign couples, and welcome to your mid-month reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. My name is Angela. This is going to be your general reading. All right, so welcome to my channel for those of you who are new, and welcome back for those of you um, <laughs> who come to the channel often. Um, I want to let you know, I want to remind you, as with any general reading, that there can be certain things here that resonate with you and certain things that may not. So I invite you to listen to this reading with an open mind and realize that there are parts of this may, that may not be for you and parts of this that may be for someone else. And I invite you also to check the videos for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Sometimes those may resonate more. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, you can go to my website, angelicascensionstarot.com. I offer same-day readings, um, which are phone readings, and I offer emergency readings as well as pre-recorded. Go ahead and take a look at my website to see um, you know, if there's something there that interests you. So let's get right into it. Let's get right into it, fire signs for mid-month of May. There's something here that may have been up in the air that you're looking to resolve. This could be some type of emotion. This could be a, a, a situation going on within a relationship. It could be with a job. Okay. I feel like the autumn time could have been significant for you. But I, find, I feel fire signs that there's distance between you and your partner. This could even be emotional distance. You could even still be under the same roof currently, and you might be going through some distance with, with your partner. This could also speak to the fact that some of you are separated from your partner right now, and maybe you're working on bringing things back together, on reconciling. Maybe that's something that you're trying to resolve. I feel that this could be someone that you have children with, Someone that you built a life with, someone that you consider marriage material, or maybe you are married to this person. Now, if that's not the case, I feel like there's a, a chance here for marriage to take place, because I feel like that's on someone's mind here, maybe both of you. Because I feel like if there has been some type of separation, separation hasn't Like it, it, it's like you can't get this person out of your mind, no matter how many other people you see, how many other people you have dated, you can't get this person out of your head. It's like their, their image is permanently etched in your heart and in your mind. But there's been some funny business. There's been some type of deception surrounding a third party. Someone in the scenario is pregnant or finding out that they're pregnant, or this could be you and your partner planning for pregnancy. I feel like there could be some type of travel that could be coming up for you. Maybe some of you are traveling for work. Maybe you're moving, moving back in together, vacationing, traveling, spending time with family. But I feel like communication is something that definitely bridges the gap between you and this person. You may have received some type of communication that urged you to resolve the situation between you and your estranged love. But I feel like there's, there's something here. Someone here is definitely dwelling on the past or thinking back on the past, having past memories of this relationship. that was filled with conflict and that just left you feeling tired, left you feeling over it. And maybe the summer brings some type of change or the summertime could have been significant for you. Um, specifically Leo season, I'm seeing Leo, Virgo, Leo Virgo cusp. Um, that's what I'm hearing. So you could be dealing with a Virgo. I'm even hearing Scorpio. Yeah. Someone was definitely interfering. 
I'm seeing yeah, absolute interference here. I'm also seeing a situation here where you're wanting to change your life, especially on a spiritual level. Okay, I see a lot of spiritual changes here. I'm seeing fertility. So I feel like you may have some type of brilliant ideas, but they're in the gestation period. They're, you're, you're growing these ideas. This idea or this project has become your baby, something that you're passionate about. Um, and I feel like it has something to do with spirituality. Some of you could be becoming speakers or you are around people who are wise. Uh, wiser than you you're wanting to gain new perspectives on things especially like I said spiritual uh, on a spiritual plane wise teacher wise friends you're, you're pulling from them that knowledge that they are able to impart okay or maybe that's something that you're wanting to go into some of you could be working multiple jobs at one time And I'm seeing forgiveness on the table for sure. There's something here that has ended, whether it's a job, a relationship, habits. Some of you could be going into recovery. Um, mental health. Some of you are sacrificing your mental health for your job. Okay, and I feel like something had to end. Like It's just like something had to give. Some of you are, are in need of more sleep. Maybe this job was, you know, interfering with your sleep, interfering with self-care. Because I'm also saying that some of you fire signs would benefit from hydrating, drinking enough water, going with the flow of life, rather than resisting the current of life. And I see that's when new doors open up for you. Okay, and I, I feel like this is a good time to put the past behind you, whether this is with your partner or if the two of you are coming back together to resolve an issue. I see the two of you putting the past behind you and moving forward. I'm also seeing that there's a, a, a this is a time to break away from procrastination. And there may be new doors, new opportunities that open up that allow you to change your life. Some of you could be winning some type of lottery. <sighs> For some of you, you're going to be invited out either by friends or by this partner of yours that you've been having conflict with. Right? Because I feel like there were some hurtful words here that were exchanged between the two of you. And I feel like it had something to do with someone cheating, someone being dishonest or dishonoring the relationship. But yeah, just, yeah, I'm seeing discouragement. Someone here is feeling discouraged that the two of you can work things out, right? Because this is going to take a lot of work. Now, some of you are exhausted because you're working a lot. Some of you could have, you have this victim type of mentality, or maybe someone did steal from you. Maybe you feel that your partner was stolen from you in some way. And yeah, you're just tired of going through this. You're over it. But like I said, no matter how many people you see, no matter, no matter how many people you entertain, this person is permanently etched in your brain. So... Again, I feel it coming together, and I feel like distance begins to shorten between you and this person. But this could be a very emotional time for you, having someone from the past, your partner popping up back in your life. Hmm. Someone here has changed their perception. Or maybe you had a perception of something that you had seen. You reacted to something that you had heard about, possibly. And this reaction brought a lot of emotion out of you. You found out that your partner was cheating on you. But yeah, I feel like you guys are getting a new perspective on things. And that you're going to move forward together. Whatever you found out, 
fire sign couples, something may have caused a lot of confusion, but I feel like there's an opportunity to clear that up. Someone here is going to bring the truth to a situation. You have, I feel like fire signs, you're moving on to the path of enlightenment. Recovering, letting go of addictions, vices, and discovering your self-worth. Letting go of guilt. And for, sh for sure, I see absolutely a child or the birth of a child. Maybe someone confused about what to do with a pregnancy that they found out about. Let's see. Let's get some details for the fire sign couples. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Or a water sign such as yourself. Oops, sorry. Upright. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. King of Cups. Or Sagittarius. Sagittarius could have been significant to your situation. Some of you may have three children with someone. Two. I see two children. I see three. But if you have two, I feel like there's, there's another one coming. There's another one on the way. Possibly with a Gemini. I see a time of unity, a time of coming back together, revisiting old issues. Yeah, something here caused a lot of confusion. I feel like subconsciously there could be some barrier, some baggage that you're still holding on to. Someone's definitely still holding on to the past. And it had to do with the relationship that you walked away from. I feel like someone's still holding on to baggage from the past. I feel like some of you could be overworked, overwhelmed by your situation, overwhelmed by emotion, overwhelmed by something you had seen or heard that came um, between your partner. Like I said, possibly a third party situation. Someone here was acting single but really wasn't. Aquarius for you. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius, as I stated to you earlier. And so maybe you just needed some time away, some space and time to think uh, about what it is that you wanted to do. So I feel like someone here walked away, but is feeling good. It's feeling positive and optimistic about working things out. I'm also seeing you being proud of your accomplishments. Okay, I feel like your hard work is going to pay off. But I feel like there's issues here with trust when it comes to your partner, right? Because you feel like they, they kind of took you for a ride, right? And what I mean by that is you, they gave you the impression that this was forever, but they messed up. And when they messed up, they messed up in a big way where they could have lost you for good. Some of you are worried about a car, a vehicle, stressed out about bills but I see things are coming together here with the six of pentacles and the wheel of fortune absolutely jackpot some of you could definitely be winning the lotto some of you are waiting for a court decision the outcome with a court decision I feel like there's a water sign going toward an air sign wanting to make amends, but the air sign is feeling a bit standoffish. Maybe you feel like your partner is ignoring you or the person that you love is ignoring you right now. Maybe someone's ignoring a decision. With an earth sign. I see an, okay, air who is upset with an earth sign. I'm also seeing Scorpio. I feel like one of you is really more focused on your career right now. All right, or bringing money in, or fixing any type of financial issues that there once was. Could have been a Virgo. But yeah, I'm seeing you moving on from past issues that were holding you back, that were keeping you stuck in some type of pattern. Where the two of you come together and break up again, right? The whole pattern. Something's got you feeling confused. Right? At times, things have you feeling like you want to self-protect, put up walls, barriers against this person because of what they did in the past. 
right? You don't want to feel like an option to this person. And at times you may feel like things aren't going to work between the two of you. Or someone may be questioning if they really want to completely put in the work. Or maybe that was the issue in the past. Or maybe that's what you're dealing with right now. Do I really want to put in the work and the effort? Because this person is so difficult and so hard to deal with, is what I'm hearing. That's kind of what I'm getting. With the Four of Wands, yeah, I feel like there's an opportunity here for stability. And it really just depends on free will decisions here. Because there really truly is love between the two of you. And I feel like someone really is ready to step up and make a commitment. Releasing themselves from past bondage, past issues, past traumas, past arguments, old habits that have a, a very difficult time dying away. Someone feels like the other one wasn't really putting in the effort. And then I see someone here that's um, nervous about investing in the relationship because they feel like you're up to your same games. Some of you are going to school, thinking about going to school. Someone didn't see what was right in front of them. So you may have felt neglected in some way. But yeah, I see a family coming together. Or I see you bonding with your family. Some of you, there was a separation where you became a single parent. Some of you are worried about a home situation. Some of you may have lost a home. Feel like your home was pulled from beneath you. Your partner could have told you to leave. Maybe that's why there's distance between the two of you. Okay, but like I said, I do see it coming together. I do see where something here may end, an end of a contract. Some of you are selling property, real estate. There's something here that ended, okay? So there's a, a contract that ended. You're moving, okay? But maybe temporarily you're feeling stuck and in between a situation. So you're definitely moving on to new jobs. Feeling like abundance is not coming in, feeling discouraged. But that's because you're frazzled, a lot of scattered thinking. Um, no time to meditate, no time to clear your head. Some of you are feeling like you're just doing everything by yourself as a single parent because maybe you did separate from your partner for a time. But yeah, just feeling confused about things, confused about life. Feeling like the, uh, a court situation isn't going to go your way. But yeah, I do see that someone here is coming in to soothe your hurt, your pain, the disappointment. Someone is comforting you, supporting you. And I feel like this is your partner wanting to come in and, and, and showing you that two of you can really win together, that two of you can really be successful together. But it's like someone that wants you to move out of the past. Some of you, even though you may have separated from this person, you haven't truly turned your back. But you may be gaining a new perspective about your situation, maybe through spirituality or through your partner, right? By communicating, by talking things out. And then there is this sense of guilt. Can you spirit show me fire sign couples? Mid month, fire sign couples. You're all about improving the health of this relationship, improving your own state of mind, okay? Like I said, some of you are sacrificing your mental health for the sake of a job, but I'm seeing some of you leaving, um, taking on a new adventure, new endeavors. See that? No time to meditate, confirmation, okay? Meditation is going to be very beneficial for you. It's going to ground you. It's going to bring the answers here that you're looking for. Some of you are going into recovery or you're recovering from some type of traumatic event that took place. Recovering from surgery, recovering from a broken heart, a broken home. But 
romance and forgiveness are coming in to replace all of that pain and agony that you went through because the universe is saying yes go for it you're getting the green light you're getting the thumbs up you're getting all the signs but don't forget that there's some work here that has to be done okay where there's there's reciprocation between the two of you but the two of you can work together and communicate clearly because that's going to be the biggest ingredient to the recipe of this relationship working out and of course reestablishing trust but and then getting to this place of acceptance surrounding yourself with positive minded people is what i'm seeing possibly in a work environment but i'm seeing a lot of personal growth here and i'm seeing a lot of release of the past, past emotions, past dramas, past hurts, and getting to this place of recovery and working things out and resolving issues is what I see for your fire signs. So let's take a look at the advice for the fire sign couples, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Fire sign couples. Well, it says, Beloved One, I'm helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. So here it is. Something that is divinely guided. Take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and release old patterns. See, there's some type of pattern here that needs to be released. A pattern of infidelity, lies, thought patterns that need to be released where you keep attracting the same thing, this victim mentality. But yeah, I'm seeing old ways have to change. Old ways have to pass away in order for this relationship to really have a fighting chance. And I feel like for some of you fire signs, it's worth it. It's worth it to change in order to have this person in your life. It's worth it to grow up and have a different mentality. Because some of you definitely want to marry this person. And you're ready to change your life. <sighs> All right, fire sign. So this concludes your mid-month reading with Angelic Ascension's Tarot. Again, if you'd like to book a personal reading, you can go to my website, angelicascensionstarot.com. Take good care, guys. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. Leave a comment. Um, and don't forget to subscribe. Consider subscribing if you already haven't. I'll be talking to you guys very soon. And bye for now.